Chevy Snail Blazer. Chevy Snail Blazer, everybody. You know what's so funny? Poor GM. All they had to do was make a Jeep SRT competitor. All they had to fucking do was take the LSA engine and put it in the Chevy Snail Blazer, and then the SS would not stand for super slow. But what did GM do? GM did what they always do. They gave up. Instead of making a super, super snail blazer, what they did was they just let it die, and now the snail blazer is no more. And now they're just making boring ass crossovers like the Equinox and um, the Traverse, and all of them are the same copy pasted 3.6 liter V6 with all wheel drive. Copy pasters are copy pasters, and it's boring. Yes, you make it all that sound. You make all that sound, you got the deep throaty exhaust, but if you line up next to me, you already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna hit this launch control button right here. I'm gonna throw it into track mode, and then the Chevy Snail Blazer is gonna get eaten alive. Why doesn't GM think like me? Why aren't they making super Snail Blazers? They could charge $80,000 for it, but they're just, they're just not even trying. What is wrong with, what is wrong with GM? You see, and he's looking down, he's like, oh wow. I wish my truck had brakes and tires and wheels like that because they look so cool. But my Snail Blazer, it's got the SS, it stands for super slow. GM gave up on me. GM gave up on everybody. The only people GM is still kind of working for is Corvettes, and that's it. So you're gonna get a Corvette that's gonna have like a rear engine in it, and that's it. And most people won't be able to even consider buying it. Meanwhile, Dodge is putting out cars that are big fucking fast and fucking huge. Uh oh, uh oh, the Snail Blazer is getting aggressive. Look at that shit. The Snail Blazer is getting aggressive. We got the Dodge Durango here. GM don't make no thing like the Dodge Durango. They don't have no Dodge Durango SRT. They don't, they barely even have a Jeep competitor. Ain't that a damn shame. And thus is the end of the Super Snail Blazer. All GM had to do was they had to build one of those. Look at that fucking thing right there. Hey, wait a minute, that looks familiar. I think I have one like that. Look at those wheels. Look at those wheels. Everybody looks down and look at those wheels. And they say, holy shit, how did you get wheels like that? Did you buy those? And I'd be like, no, they came with the car. They came with the car. I didn't have to add that stuff in. Yeah, that looks so familiar. It feels like I have one of those. Yeah, so if GM had just did the smart thing and say, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this Snail Blazer, we're gonna make this thing fucking ridiculously fast. You know what, wait, 500 horsepower is not enough. We're gonna put 650 in it, and then next year we're gonna come back with, fun. oh, oh, wait a minute, Dodge has got, what, they got 707? Well, fuck that, we're putting 755 in, bitches. But see, none of these damn car companies, these car companies, they're, they're run by fucking liberals and greeners and losers now. It's so boring, everything's boring. And, and, and that's all they had to do. That's, that, that's all they had to do. They just had to make it fast and, and put words that mean it's fast, big ass red brakes and shit. And, and, and this way we won't end up in these shitty ass little Accords and, and these boring ass little ass freaking Ultimas. That's all they had to do, but did they do that? No. So now, if you want to buy one, all you can get is a regular snail blazer. Uh-oh, see, my car warns me. It's like, don't do that, because you're going to hit that slow-ass Lexus right there. So my car tells me right up front, it's like, yo, dude, you got to hit that brake. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You don't, you, don't, you don't have that kind of prestige in the damn snail blazer. Look at that guy up in there. He's riding pretty. He ain't worried about no goddamn snail blazers. But that dude back there with his crazy exhaust, if he had pulled up on me, what would we have done? We would have waited right till we got to this light right here, and we would have toasted his ass. Toasted his ass. And every GM hater, you know I'm telling the truth. We would have toasted his ass.